Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, problems related to Macasha design and for the homework eight for CPE 221. So the problem says problem 8.3 and problem 8.4 are related. Um, so problem 8.3 says that come up with a sequence of addresses for which a direct mapped cache with a size of 16 words and block size of four outperform a fully associative cache with least re recently used replacement that has the same capacity and the block. So how does this work out? Is that uh, first recall that the cache is organized as a um, row, as a table basically with rows and columns. So like this, okay. And for given capacity, um, if for given capacity, these rows are called as a sets, okay. And then after that, these are called as ways. These columns are called as ways. And you have a capacity C. You have capacity C. Okay. And then uh, what is given is uh, block size. Okay, block size and which is B. So this is given. So generally if the block size is one, so what it means is in this case is that uh, there is no special locality, but if there is a block size of one uh, is two or more, then there is a special locality. It means that if the cache is going to fetch any uh, address uh, from physical memory, then it will also bring something that are nearby um, that particular address, okay? And then after that, we have a number of blocks that how many number of the blocks is generally we have. And, and so in this case, we have a block number of blocks. So that is generally C by B, okay? And then after that, N is the degree of association, N. Um, so C activity. That is generally given, okay? And then after that, the number of sets S, number of sets S is B by N. So in the direct mapped cache, B is one. Direct mapped cache, B is generally one. Uh, if we are not going to employ the special locality, you can still have a special locality, but let's assume in this case that B equal to one. And then N is definitely one for this case. So the questions ask the N, but if there is a fully associative, then in that case, your in case of the fully associative, you have only one set, okay? And then also keep in mind that in ARM, in uh, ARM, Okay, we have 32 bit addresses. Okay, 32 bit addresses. And uh, it's uh, word addressable. Okay, or you can say like the four, four byte addressable. Okay, four byte addressable. And, and so in this case, then um, since the cache is much smaller than your physical memory, so there must be some kind of the mapping. So generally how the mapping works from the uh, cache to the physical address is that first we have a tag. Okay, so this is generally uh, what uh, basically matches one address to the uh, one address in a physical memory to the uh, an address uh, in the cache or entry in, in the cache. Then after that, we have a uh, set offset and then we have block offset. And this is um, generally, so this is generally um, 
you can leave it. Uh, it's generally zero, zero in the beginning. Or you can also call it uh, white offset. And we don't have to worry about that in this case. Okay. So uh, in case of the direct map, eh, what, the, what the question is asking is that in case of direct map, um, cache, uh, you, you're going to provide an example or a sequence of an addresses where it is going to outperform the fully associative cache. So um, generally, if um, in, in, in kind of in, uh, in a scenario where you, you will eventually have a, a lot less cache misses, then it will be outperforming uh, compared to a cache design where there will be a lot more, a lot more cache miss. So as an example, um, as an example, and you can think about in this case, Let's see in this case, okay. Uh, okay, so in this case, if you have a direct mapped cache, so let's assume in this case, uh, we have a 32 bit and let's say, um, so in this case, let's say we have um, eight, eight sets, okay, eight sets. So S log to eight equal to three bits. So three bits will be used to choose a set. So in this case, we have zero four. So zero four will be zero, zero, one, zero, and then, okay, the, I'm only writing the least significant eight bits here and it's a binary. So C in this case is your 12. And uh, one zero, one zero is your 16. Um, first zero, 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 okay, first one, and then we say it, okay, and then we have hex 14, so, okay, so these, these two will be the byte offset, we don't have to, we don't use them to select a set but we then use the next three bits, okay? Uh, these, okay? And use these three bits and then convert them to decimal. So for example, so let's say in this case we have, Set one, set two, set three, set four, set five, set six, set seven, okay? So this one is zero, zero, one, which means in decimal it is one. So, uh, so let's say zero x four, zero will come here, okay? And then uh, this is your zero one zero, which is two, so zero x zero eight. Okay, and then C, which is three, so zero x zero C. And then this will be one, two, four, set four. Okay, and then after zero, zero x one four, which is again, um, going to come here and in this case, so I, I just write down here, okay. I just write down here in this case. 
So let's assume that, um, okay, since the question is asking that direct map to cache will outperform or not, so let's uh, uh, delete this for the time being, okay? So, okay. Now, if, if this has to say four, one, two, five, okay, and end. So if these sequences of addresses had to iterate like say five times, then in the first time, then the when the loop enters first time, then there is nothing in the cache. So like say we are querying zero X zero four, which is not in a cache. So in, in this case, this will be queried from the physical memory, but there will be um, your cache miss, first cache miss. Then after that, 0x08, which will, which will also not be in a physical memory, uh, sorry, in the cache. So it will fetch from the physical memory. And so uh, cache miss. Then 0x0c, same situation. Then 0x10, same situation. Then after that, when it comes the second time, in the iteration, second iteration, then after that, uh, this will be in a cache. So no cache miss, no cache miss, no cache miss, no cache miss. Okay, so actually in this case, only four um, cache miss will happen. But let's say if it was a fully associative, so in this case, if it was a fully associative, then there will be only one set. And let's say if, so in this case, uh, so on, there is only one set. And so um, for, fully associated, we have, in this case, what we have uh, is, uh, let's see, back, and there is only one block, sorry, only one set. So there is no set offset that we need. Okay, so what in this case would be just we needing is a block offset. Then we will be tag like this, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so uh, we can just simply, we can write a simplified representation like this. So in this simplified representation, um, let's assume, so in this case, what we say that a single set with B ways, so in this case, B equal to N. So, so there will be um, like a total of the N. Uh, in this case, like n columns. So if these sequences of the addresses needs to and uh, needs to be say these sequence of the addresses uh, needs to be iterated over and over again. Okay. So let's say we have four in this case. So uh, let's say in this case we have how many number of the blocks that we need. Um, so uh, let's make a calculation. So we will be needing um, C by small b, okay? which is again, in this case, C0. Uh, we, we considered in this case, eight sets. So uh, let's for the simplicity understand that um, for the simplicity in this case, uh, I will just say that we have in this case four total of the four blocks we will be needing the same as the above, uh, but in a four rows and there is no set. So any of them addresses can map into this. Um, so, so in this case, if, uh, if you have a fully associated, then, So in this case, let's say 0x04, which will come here, okay? Then after that, uh, we have 0x08, then 0x0c, and then after that 0x10. So if this gets iterated over and over again, then still you will find that there is a cache, uh, the first time cache miss, and then after that subsequent iteration, no cache miss. So this 
particular address sequence you will see that both are equal both are same but let's say now earlier uh, uh, let's resort back to the earlier example in this case that we have 0x14 okay so in this case we will have 001 and 0100 right um so so in this case uh again we will have this 0x14 right so if the first time in the direct mapped caching if the first time um if the first time um, the processor asks for these addresses then say the zero uh, let me handle it this first so that i can redo it Okay, so the first time um, cache MS for all of these. And then after that, we again comes to the 0x14, which is supposed to go to the set one, but the set one is full. So it will uh, delete this and then it will write 0x14. Okay, so we have total of the five misses in the first iteration itself. Okay, uh, let's choose different numbers. So five misses. Then the second time, it finds out that there is no 0x04 because it was replaced by the 0x14 earlier. So what it will do, it will uh, delete this and then write um, write 0x04 again. But for all of these 0x08, 0x0c and 0 C zero zero C one zero, we will have cache hits. Okay, then then again a cache miss will happen uh, for uh, for zero uh, X one four. So in the subsequent iterations, you will find that we will have only two misses. Okay, now let's see what happens in the case of the fully associative. So remember, in the fully associative, the first time there will be uh, misses. So there will be some misses. Uh, so, um, so first time we will have the five misses, okay, plus five addresses. So how it will work out? So it will work out like this. Um, so let's, let's delete this first. Okay. So 0x04, so that will go here. Okay, after that 0x08, then 0x0c, then 0x10, okay? Then after that 0x14, but uh, there is no space, so it has to kick out one of those field entries. So it will kick out something that was least recently used. That's the policy for this fully associative least recently used policy design. So this will cut this and then 0x14. So this is a new entry in this case. Then after that, we find that the next iteration will start with again 0x04 for which there is no space. But remember, this is not a, a direct mapped cache. In, there is only one set. So that set, that block can map to any of this. So this will kick out this because uh, in this case, uh, this was the least recently used out of all. And then after that, 0x08, and then 0x0c, okay? And then after that, 0x10, 0x, then in this case, 14, and so on. So you will see that there will be five misses every time. And here, actually, the miss percentage is 100%. So. So, in this case, we see that uh, direct ma mapped cache out per form. performance 
the fully associated cache with LRU. Okay, now uh, the question 8.4 asks the exactly opposite that give you given address sequences where fully associated cache will outperform your direct mapped cache. Okay, so in this case, So in this case, let's say in the, so, so, um, okay, so now, so give you an example. So in this case, if we had just this, X, you know, okay, we have only this. So in a direct mapped cache, what will happen? This will go to set one, sorry, set zero. This will go to set zero, okay? This will go to set one, this will go to set two, and this will go to set three, all right? So this will go to set three, and then, so the first time there will be four misses, Then maybe this is uh, this is not the right um, address to address sequences to demonstrate that that fully as fully associated cache will perform better. Let's think about it. So uh, in this case, we need to have we need to have something that will um, fully fit into the fully associated cache, like exactly as it is uh, with no subsequent mis subsequent misses at the later stage. Um, so in this case, okay, so this one is set three and after that, Uh, okay, maybe not this. Okay, let's see. Uh, maybe this is the better design. We are zero x. So remember, here we had the same kind of set, same kind of the address and go to the same um, same set. So like say for example, zero x um, zero x zero four zero x one four. 0x24 and 0x34, they all go to set 0. Okay. Um, so, in this case, let's see uh, if we are writing the binary representation. Uh, no, not set zero, sorry. These will all not go to the set zero. Um, so these will all go to your um, set zero. Let me make a mistake here. Okay. Sorry, set one, yes, set one. Uh, this will go to set one. How will this go to set one? So in this case, we will have Okay, so this is your um, binary presentation and we use 
these three bits, which is equal to one in decimal, right? So, and then this one is your uh, one, four, right? Zero, touch, touch. Okay, zero, 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 one, and then zero, one. 0, 0, and then 0, x, 2, 4 is your 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. So all of them will go to set 1. And so if, if we have direct mapped caching, so this is your set 1. Okay. So the first iteration, if we had 0, x, Zero four, then in the first iteration itself, if after fetching zero x zero four from the physical memory, it needs to fetch zero x zero zero x one four, but that also has to go to set one, so this has to be kicked out, and then it is going to be zero x zero one four, but then again this has to be kicked out, and then this is going to be zero x two four, then again and then 0x34. Then in the next iteration, again, so in this case, there will be 100% misses every time. But in fully associative, since all of them can go anywhere, so in the fully associative, I'll say fully associative, okay, I, I wrote fully associative in short, okay. So in this case, it could go to 0x04, zero zero here then 0x14, 0x24, 0x34. And then after that, there will be no misses. So this kind of, so in this case, so see, there is a difference. So in this case, fully associative, fully associative um, will outperform direct map caching if okay lru replacement policy is used for um fully associative uh, cache okay so that's all so this is the gist of this uh, question exercise 8.3 and 8.4. Okay, I hope uh, this was clear. If you have a uh, question, then feel free to ask. Thank you.